Let's finish rigging our thoracic legs. The last thing we'll need to do is set up our custom parameters and it's the exact same steps we use for our pelvic legs. So I'll just go ahead and work on the left side to avoid monotony. Let's go ahead and grab our animation control, head over to our modify panel. And now we can go ahead and apply our attribute holder and rename that to extra controls. We're now ready to access our parameter editor with Alt-1. Let's go ahead and create a string type. We'll name the parameter fetlock. And the default text will be secondary control. Now we can go ahead and choose add. And now we can add the animatable parameters. So we'll choose the float type. That will be fetlock underscore roll. And we'll give that a range of negative 360 and positive 360. Choose add. Now we have one more for the fetlock, which is the tilt. The range is already set, so we'll choose add, and now we can go ahead and work on our last few parameters. So again, we'll choose string. We'll name this hoof. And again, under default text, that will be secondary control. All right, so now we'll need to set up parameters for X, Y, and Z. Let's go ahead and choose the float type. And our first parameter will be hoof roll. We'll set our range. And add the parameter. The next is our hoof tilt. Choose add. And then finally the hoof swivel. Okay, great. So now it's just a matter of wiring our parameters. So with our animation control selected, we'll start with our fetlock. Let's go ahead and use the hotkey control five. It's going to be modified object, extra controls, fetlock, roll. We know that gets added to the helper's Z axis. So that's going to be rotation zero Z. We'll check the direction, choose the correct arrow, and let's go ahead and add our degree to radians function, so that's deg to rad, and then we'll concatenate fetlock roll. Choose connect. Alright, so if we were to minimize this and test this out, everything's working just fine. Alright, so we now have the tilt axis, and again you can check this by just going to gimbal mode, going to your rotate tool tool and that will give you the the axis that you'll need to wire all right so we'll need to now wire the y-axis so I'll go ahead and head back over to the parameter dialog and that's going to be fetlock tilt into the y-axis so we'll go ahead and add our deck to rad function and connect we always want to get into the habit of testing things out. So that looks good. Now we can go ahead and work on the last three to finish up. So we know here it's going to be X first, then Y, and then Z. So let's go ahead and again wire from the hoof roll into our helper's zero Euler X axis. It's going to be deg to rad, concatenate hoof roll, and choose connect. Now we know the tilt goes into the y axis. And the swivel into the z axis. Okay. So now if we were to test this out, there's our hoof roll and the hoof tilt. 
and the hoof swivel. Beautiful. So let's go ahead and make sure we do that for the right side and we will be finished. And then we can start to work on rigging the neck and head in the following lesson.